right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. Dude, oh, oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach Without out. Without reaching out, we're going to rely on the folks there in Nottingham. And hopefully you can do an update based on the comments down below. We'll do the update. You write the comments. More importantly, we're going to celebrate when we do read your comments. Right now, we're just going to bring you those top golf courses that we could find within Nottingham, starting off at number five. Cox Moore Golf Club. A 4.6 out of 5 with about 275 golf reviews to choose from. This is a good course to kind of get the list off and stretching. It's considered to be a top 100 golf course in the country. It stretches a long 6,819 yards, although it is private. You can't play it, nor can I. It is a par 72, and it has a little bit of history being built in 1913. That's why we decide to put it on this list. But again, we get things wrong, too. So we got to rely on the comments down below from you guys. And we couldn't find that many courses, so right now we were just going to roll with what we have so it's, it is a nice course to kind of start us off some of these you know at least in ireland they're private you can play them they're public i don't know if that's the case there in the uk we're going to be visiting so we do rely on your comments starting off now at number four amsdale park golf center a 4.6 out of 5 with over 1400 golf reviews to choose from this 18 hole golf course has a driving range and other giant amenities being built in 1992 it's considered again to be a top 100 golf course in the country by major golf outlets this one is semi-private so it is open to folks willing to play it is all well slope of 120 it's built in 1990 completed uh, at least started and then completed in 1992 and it's a giant facility though the course isn't that long although we try the best we can. That's what we're doing. Moving in now to number three on this list of top courses, Beeston Fields Golf Course. This one is located really in a nice area. It's a 4.3 out of 5 with 430 golf reviews to choose from. This one stretching just about 6,000 yards from those back tees at 6,430. 30 yards with a slope of 132 and a rating of 71.2. It was built in 1923, so it does have a really nice piece of history here at this facility, although it is private. Again, these sneak right by us, and sometimes we do rely on your comments and turn it into a Reddit feel. It's a parkland style course, and it's 18 holes of really nice, nice golf, and I wish it was public, but it's not the case. Now, there's only two more courses left. Moving into the northeast side of the city is a great course, so let's swing on into it. Nottingham Golf and Country Club, a 4.5 out of 5. This one is considered one of the nicest golf courses in the area with 36 holes of golf and a 30-bedroom hotel associated with it. So it, did, it does have a lot to offer here. Swinging right into the course, you can see there's some nice pictures of it stretching 6,341 yards from those back tees. This par 71 was built by Paul Kimber and Weller Design. It has four different main tee boxes to choose from. It's public, and you can get out there and play this course in the near future, and hopefully we will and record it and do golf reviews just like our typical golf reviews are on this channel. If you like golf reviews, you like anything like that, I would highly recommend taking a look at our real videos. These are just educational ones trying to figure out where these courses are. But more importantly, we got one more course left. We're getting a little sidetracked. Swinging into number one on this list of top courses. Holliston Park Golf Course. This one, there's so many animals swinging through, you would think it's a zoo. But that's not the case. It's listed as private. I, I don't know why that's the case. I'm hoping that's not. It's built in 1972. It's par 71. It stretches 6,551 yards with a rating of 72 and a slope of 133. We hope we can play this course in the near future. Just taking a look at their website, it seems like it could be open to the public. And we're going to hopefully dig into it a little bit more and try to figure out if that's the case. They do have visitor tee times, so hopefully we're, we'll be a little optimistic starting at $35.